What's happening everybody, Kyle from VR Scout here, and today we are checking out Custom Home Mapper for the Oculus Quest and Quest 2, a neat little application that turns your standalone headset into a location-based VR arcade. Players can actually map the physical layout of their homes, including any furniture or obstructions, and participate in a variety of minigames. Today we're going to explain exactly how to set up your home arcade as well as break down a handful of the games you can enjoy. First up, you're going to want to be sure your account is set to developer mode. This will allow you to deactivate your guardian system so you can move freely throughout your home. Upon logging into the app, you'll use your touch controllers to establish the corners of your home and create your virtual space. After which, you'll then use the same technique to identify any objects or furniture in your play space. Finally, you'll set up your anchor point by setting your controllers down in a specific position. This allows you to save your newly created space so you can easily jump back in at a later time. Alright, with setup out of the way, you're now ready to hop into some games. First up is Custom Home Creation. Less of a game and more of an interior design program, this app lets you create additional objects as well as retexture existing ones to create your own virtual home. After the game's most recent update, there are currently 100 prefab objects and 20 skybox environments to select from. Next up is Vortex, an arcade spaceship shooter inspired by classic side-scrollers. Using your touch controller to navigate your tiny craft, you'll need to dodge incoming fire as you battle waves of enemy ships throughout your home. Moving on, we have Castle Defender, a simplistic archery-based game that tasks you with defending your castle from an onslaught of medieval soldiers. Using your handy-dandy bow, you'll need to mow down waves of enemies from atop your perch. Movement is essential in this minigame, as you'll need to relocate to different positions for a better angle. Then there's Light Speed Smuggler, a sci-fi first-person shooter that has you protecting your spacecraft from a fleet of enemy ships using a powerful laser blaster. Manage your ship's engines and take cover in order to survive this intense FPS minigame. Up next is I Am Very Explosive. This unique minigame straps two pieces of powerful explosives to your hands and tasks you with quickly moving from point A to point B. Take too long or bump into an object and your dynamite-filled mittens will trigger a deadly explosion, ending your game. As you complete each objective, a ghost version of your past self will occupy the same space, adding an additional challenge to the experience. Next up is Lunar Ball, a zero-gravity disc golf-inspired experience that tasks you with tossing a colorful laser ball into various goals scattered throughout each room. As you progress, you'll find yourself facing additional obstructions such as moving barriers. Finally, there's Snake Master. A nearly identical 3D version of the classic game Snake, Snake Master has you controlling a slow-moving digital snake around your environment in search of white pellets to consume. The more you eat, the larger your snake grows, forcing you to navigate an increasingly chaotic environment. So there you have it, a rough but ingenious free roam VR solution perfect for your apartment or home. While Custom Home Mapper still has much to improve on, what we've seen so far has us extremely excited for the future of at-home location-based indie VR. Custom Home Mapper is available now on Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 for $6.99. Custom Home Mapper's most recent update also introduces a simple mini-golf experience to the mix, though at the time of this recording the update was not yet available. 